What's up guys, this is Ray and welcome to Asia Filmist and today we'll be talking about the 2011 Japanese film Petitiaire Kwan Daru directed by Fukugawa Yoshihiro and starring Eguchi Yosuke and Aoi Yu. So the word Petitiaire, Petitiaire is a word when I lived in the States I didn't actually use nor do I call just knowing what it meant. I actually learned the word coming to Japan and it's the word they use uh, to describe pastry chefs or chefs that uh, make uh, sweets, cakes, or what have you. And so with that being said, obviously this movie is about uh, a, a sweets shop, a pastry shop if you will. And it's about this girl named Natsume who travels from Kagoshima all the way to Tokyo in search of her ex-boyfriend who the last time they had made contact with each other had said that he landed this job at this famous patissier by the name of Kwan Daru, which is you know the, the, the pastry shop that's in the title. And so Natsume makes her way to Kwandaru and discovers that he's no longer there, that he left the job to look for a job somewhere else. But because she has nowhere to go and she didn't want to leave Tokyo for Kagoshima uh, until she found her boyfriend, she decides to uh, get a job at Kwandu because they were, by, by sure luck and coincidence, they were looking for some help. And at first she's kind of arrogant, like, yeah, yeah, I've made cakes before, it'll be no problem. And so she makes a cake for the staff and the head chef, who's played by Toto Keiko, by the way. And what do they do? They kind of, the reaction is like, mm, yeah, uh, it's okay. You know, and you know, she's kind of shocked at first. Like, what? You know, everyone says that I make good cakes, but it's like, nah, yeah, you should go home. You don't need to work here. You should go home where people love your cooking. It's like, dang. This kind of makes Natsume even more determined to work for Kwandaru. And she uh, she declares that she's going to learn how to be a, great, a good patissier and make cakes that are actually delicious and up to standards. And so that's Aoi Yu's character. And so we also have Eguchi Yosuke's character by the name of Tomura. And he plays like this legend among patissiers. He plays a veteran patissier and uh, but the thing is he hasn't been in the kitchen for a few years and you know he, he, all, what he does right now he spends his time writing and critiquing other patissiers and the reason why he no longer makes any cakes or sweets is due to a tragic past and he's one of the many characters that Natsume encounters along her travel along her journey to become uh, a good patissier. So with the positives of patissier Kwan Daru, well I guess are the performances you know these two actors Eguchi Yosuke and Aoyu are two actors who to this day I genuinely enjoy watching movies. Uh, they're definitely two ticket sellers for me. If there was a new movie coming out and had either of these two names, I would definitely go and attempt to watch the movie while it's still in the theaters. And uh, I think Aoyu, you know, at the, this movie was released in 2011, so it was about, what, seven years ago? And even then, she's still shown as an actress. She's brilliant, and I absolutely love her movies. And her character, her character had very very good character growth character development like she starts off kind of arrogant as i described earlier kind of you know just if not arrogant just overly self-confident in her creations like yeah it'll be no problem i can i can do this but then she gets humbled and you know that kind of starts her journey into wants to be a genuinely good uh pastry chef and not only that but she's also at the beginning she's also a bit annoying she's hung up on her boyfriend or rather ex-boyfriend and that's really the only thing that she can think about. But then there comes a turning point and then she eventually gets serious and determined uh, and just 100% focused in her journey to become a petitioner. And, uh, and from that point on, you know, she becomes an underdog you can go, you can get behind and root for. I also enjoy the supporting cast in the form of Toda Keiko, who plays the head chef. I think she's a gen she's usually a great actress no matter what movie she's in, and that's no exception here. And uh, there is also Eguchi Noriko, who plays kind of the evil or bitchy rival of Natsume in the sense that she, you know, first of all, she is uh, Natsume Senpai when she starts working for uh, Koan Deru. And because you know, as with any veteran who's been there for a while, here comes the here comes the, the cheeky newcomer who thinks they know everything. Of course, you're gonna be like, who the hell is this fool? You know, and that's pretty much what the, her character is to Natsume. And it's fun to see their relationship build up from the beginning of the movie to the end. And Eguchi Yosuke, I think he's just as cool and charismatic as usual. I think there's hardly any role where Eguchi Yosuke is not charismatic, and that's, you know, he's definitely all that here. And he's charismatic in a way where it's like, you know, he's obviously, his character is obviously this legend amongst other patissiers. But he doesn't try to, he doesn't dwell in, in his, uh, in his uh, reputation. 
he kind of just goes about does his own thing because he wants to and because of the character's background he doesn't really display or at least in the beginning he doesn't display much uh overly emotional moments and for the most part it just plays cool throughout the duration story until you start to really dive into his backstory that's when you can see uh his performance come out and obviously i love the scenes where they showcase all the different cakes that kwan de would make i mean they look so yummy and sweet i mean as a guy who loves sugar all the cakes definitely look appealing to me and you know if you've ever been to japan and you go to a sweets shop or a cake shop here uh, they all pretty much look like Kwandu, except Kwandu is more on the fancy side as it does feature uh, a legit cafe in addition to like it's a counter where you can buy the cakes right from right from there uh and just the way the deck the decor is in Kwandu, it's you can tell it's a bit on the fancier side but you know, a lot of these kinds of cakes, these kinds of shops, you can find in many places all throughout Jap Japan, especially in Tokyo. There are a lot of them, and they all taste wonderful, the cakes, that is. And something that I appreciate about this movie is that it, they, it takes time to show the process on how a chef would uh, go on to make some of these cakes and some of these sweets. And it makes you appreciate all the little painstaking details they would take to, to make uh, something so small look so appealing, so pretty and just uh, Instagram worthy. As far as the negatives I have to say about Patricia Kwondu, I gotta say, it's gotta be the character Tomura, Eguchi Yosuke's character. You know, I said before, his performance was great. The character was cool, but the way Tomura's character fit into the story itself, I thought it could have used a lot of work. And that's because, well, first of all, it felt like a balancing act between showcasing Tomura's character growth and Natsume's. It's like, uh, you know... They're both headline of the movie, but I feel like Natsume's character definitely should have taken more of the spotlight and, and Tomura should have been more of the supporting character. But they try to push both characters in the front. But the thing is, they spent, I feel, a lot more time, a lot more uh, screen time with Natsume than they do with Tomura. And because of that, I felt like Tomura was, was added in there just to add more emotional impact to the overall story. Like, I felt like I would have liked a few more scenes displaying uh, Tomura and his, uh, and his character growth because what we get is... You know, we get Natsume in front and the center throughout the majority of the story, and uh, Tomura is in the background. He's kind of he pops in and there. You kind of see him interact with different people here and there, but you don't get to know much about him. And then suddenly, about partway through, I say about halfway through the movie, you finally get to know his backstory, and then boom, it's like emotional impact. But I think at that time, you know, leading up to that time, I would have appreciated a few more scenes with Tomer, just so you can get more attachment to him. I think, well, you know, I think most of us would have already attachment to him because it's Eguchi Yosuke. But with the character itself, I think when the time comes to talk about his backstory, I think uh, until then, he's kind of presented as this kind of enigma. Like you don't know necessarily what he's about, but, and you know, you don't really have enough screen time to really build that connection with him. And I feel like if there are a few, if there were a few more scenes to build up more of that connection, we would have had a much stronger character arc with Tomura. And at the same time, I think the end result would have been feeling a lot more balanced. And lastly, you know, I think there are a few pacing issues, but you know, not, not anything too serious. So overall, what did I think of Patricia Kwandaru? Well, you know, I think it's a fun movie. Uh, it's about a naive country girl uh, and also a jaded veteran who respectively discover and rediscover their love for making sweets and pastries. And uh, you know, I feel like when I use the words sweets and pastries, I feel like I'm not uh, I'm not hyping up what they make enough. Cause I mean, th these things are works of art. And I think if you go to a regular cake shop or a regular sweets shop, you may or may not find cakes that look like the stuff that they put out here. But if you go to a pizza share, you definitely get the kind of cakes that have the same kind of presentation and quality quality as the ones that they present here in this movie. So I don't know. I don't know if using cakes and sweets uh, justify what they make, but I'm just going to stick with that. And I think it's definitely a movie that fans of food would like. But what I like about this particular movie and just overall food movies in general, well, if they can do it right, is that the movie isn't specifically or rather isn't strictly about the food. It's more about the impact that the food has on the people who taste it. And when you see, you know, part of Natsume's journey is at first, you know, she thinks uh, she comes across she comes to a crossroads where she thinks, you know, should I stop? Should I continue? And then she finally uh, kind of hears the impact of her cakes 
uh, on other people, and that's kind of that's kind of a turning point for her. And you know, I think when you have something like this that creates an emotional link between the food and the characters surrounding the food or enjoying the food, then it makes for a stronger story. And this movie definitely does that. So yes, those are my thoughts on Patricia Kwan Daru. What did you guys think? What kind of questions did you guys have? Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And by all means, please support Age Films on Patreon because it definitely helps the channel a lot. And hey, hey, did you know we have a Discord server for those of you guys who want to come and talk about Age and Cinema together? You'll find an invite to the Discord server in the description area below. And yeah, that's about it for me, guys. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you all again in the next video. Take it easy.